Welcome back to Good Life Television. Today, I want to share with you the spiritual practices you will put in place to avoid sudden death. You may be surprised. What do I mean? I know what I am saying and I want you to listen to me very well so that you pick it so that you will avoid some sudden deaths you can be able to avoid in your family, in your home, in the life of your children. It is true. God protects us. God is behind us. But there are some certain things you need to do. Let me tell you one secret. Before a sudden death, I mean sudden death, we come into a family. There must be a prejudgment in the spiritual world. They will judge about it before any sudden death will happen. So all those sudden death, they happen in the spiritual first before they manifest in the physical. You may not understand, but let me tell you one small story. When I was a small boy, I was living with my grandfather. And my grandfather trained sheep. You know sheep, ram, a lot. He has a lot of them. So one day in the midnight, one of them was crying as if something is attacking the sheep. And I called grandpa. Let's go and see what is happening to our sheep. He said, no, I should not go. And he didn't go out. In the morning, that sheep died. And he told me that that death will avert a death that is coming to the family. That it is a spirit of untimely death. They have passed judgment that his family will bring somebody for sacrifice and that spirit has taken that sheep in place of human being say so that is one of the reasons why he is training all those animals in his house that if you are a man you are a family man in a family you need to have is either you are training fowl that is your own sheep goats cow all those animals that they use for sacrifice, you must either have one in your place so that when that judgment will come, those deaths will take the life of those animals instead of taking the life of any human being in the family. But when you don't have it, there is no option because he told me that there is a spirit that will always defend you and plead for them to take animal instead of a human being. And once you don't have animal, there is no, they don't have any other option than to strike somebody dead. That is why so many times, you, so many families, they witness accident, death. Some, some, some persons may sleep, they don't wake up. Somebody that is very healthy. Most of these things are not medically disordered. Some of them are spiritual. Spiritual. So once you are medically sound, there is no reason you will die suddenly. All those accidents, you see electric shock, all those funny, funny stories that lead to people's death. You can avoid them. Those that are spiritually inclined are avoidable. How do you avoid it? Make sure you have either fowl that is in your family, your family own, either goat, either sheep, either cow. Even if you are living in the city, send back money back home. Let them have all those things. It's a family issue. Because of that, if a whole family doesn't have it, it is very dangerous. You don't know who the, the, the dead will strike. It can be somebody living abroad. It can be anybody. You hear people, they slump. They die, they die, and they are sweating. That is spirit that have killed them. 
All those things are not medical problems. So I want to encourage you today. I like to share important information that will always help you. Make it a point of duty today to have those animals in your house, in your family. You can avoid sudden death. It is true. Don't say, ah, it's not working. It is working. I know what I'm saying. Believe you me. Help yourself. Help your family. Share this, our video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to Good Life Television. Make this video viral. Give us thumbs up. Send comments. Ask questions if you don't understand what we are talking. And we will help you. We will answer you by the grace of God. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.